Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make your voice sound good in Audacity. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, let's dive straight in. I've got a recording I made earlier. Let's play a little bit. Hello, this is my very first recording. Okay, you can hear it's a little bit quiet. I'm going to show you three effects that will just boost this up and make it sound great. The first thing we want to, well, amplify the sound of this a little bit more. So double clicking to select all of the audio, we can go into effect and then we can normalize this, uh, which is exactly what we want to do. And we'll normalize the peak amplitude. That's the highest point in the waveform to minus one dB. Click OK. Now everything's nice and loud, but we can still see there are some loud parts and some quiet parts. We'll work on that in a minute, but next we'll go to effect and we'll go to the filter curve EQ. This is where we can really start to shape the sound of this voice. And you can copy just what I do on your voice. First thing, we're going to put in a high pass filter that will roll off some of the bass and the, the rumble, the low end we don't need. Let's preview. Hello, this is my very first recording. Okay, it's thinned me out a little bit, so I'm going to just pull that back down a little bit and preview again. Hello, this is my very first recording. Maybe we'll go down just a smidge more, just moving these points along. Hello, this is my very first. That's cool. So now I've got rid of the low end, anywhere where there's mic bumps or planes or cars going by. Next, I'm going to put on some high end, anything from just above 4000 hertz. Let's hear. Hello, this is my very first. Okay, that's way too much. It's distorting and sibilant. So let's bring that down. Hello, this is my very first recording. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and add in some points here. So we can add in some small little points around here. Let's try that. Hello, this is my very. And we can try and find a broad area where the voice shines. Probably going to be higher up to maybe the 2000, 3000 vocal presence area. Hello, this is my very first. And let's bring that down. It's a bit too much there. Hello, this is my very first. And then we might just do a little boost around the bass section around here, just to boost up the bass on the voice. Hello, this is my very first recording. Happy with that? Click OK. And now we've added the EQ. Finally, it's the compressor, which is right here in the effect menu again. And my settings for this threshold minus 20, noise floor minus 60, ratio three to one, attack time 0.1 seconds and release time one second. Click OK and you'll see this go from loud and soft and loud and soft to a constant volume. And we got something like this. Hello, this is my very first recording in Audacity and I'd like to sound as good as I can. So now we've got a real radio or podcast sound applied to the voice in three simple steps. First, normalize to get your audio sounding louder. Second, use that EQ so that you can draw on different bits, increase the highs, roll off the lows, do a few notches here and there to make things sound better. And of course, compressor finally to level out all of your audio and make your voice sound a lot better. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments down below. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creative.